Hello friends, this is Praveen back with a new new tutorial for keyboards, beginners. Just very, very elementary things. Uh, keyboards uh, at first sight, when you look at it, it looks very intimidating for a new beginner. Lots of black and white keys around here. But uh, it's very simple. If you understand this, it's very, very simple. It's a very easy instrument to play. Just the tricks and techniques you have to understand. So you see lots of black keys, lots of white keys. So white keys are your natural notes. These are your natural notes from A to G. Just like I explained this thing in my guitar class also, guitar tutorial rather, uh, that there's seven letters of the alphabet that uh, have been taken for a music, for musical language. So here, how do we recognize where's A? So two black keys together, three, and the same pattern continues again, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three and so on. Two, three, two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, two black keys, three black keys, three black keys and so on, continues. This is a 88 keys uh, keyboard. So it has uh, many more sets, but normally 61 keys uh, has lesser octaves. So anyways, that's uh, a different subject. The three black keys together, the middle one, right after that, this key, three black keys together and two black keys, right? So just choose the set of three black keys. Those three black keys, middle one, identify the middle one, right next to it, the white key. That is your A. And all these white keys, they are all natural notes, starting from A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A again, B again, C, D, E, F, G, A. Make sense so far? So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. That's one octave of A to A. So A, B, C. Let's see. Let's start from C. C to C. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. I'm playing the same white keys, but I'm playing from A to A. It sounds different. It has a different personality. The, the notes, the scale has a different personality. When we play from C, this one has much more sweeter, friendlier, happier sound. When you play from A, A to A, it sounds slightly different. It sounds kind of emotional, sad, you can say. And here it sounds happier. See, this is much happier. It sounds like a Sari Gama Badanita. Okay, so those are the natural notes. Now, um, the first seven letters, as I explained, first seven letters, uh, they are the musical notes that the whole music system follows. All right, so let's start from C to C. And I'm gonna use a certain fingering. Thumb, this, this. So finger number one, two, three, four, five. So instead of that, uh, since I have a guitar background, I right from the beginning have adopted thumb, one, two, three, four. That That's my, uh, the fingering uh, nomenclature. So don't be confused with that. Uh, piano teachers normally, one, two, three, four, five. I do it thumb, one, two, three, four. So it's the same thing, just understanding. So thumb, one, two, fingering, thumb, one, two, and then tuck your thumb underneath and jump onto the next note. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Thumb, one, two. Jump onto this note with the thumb. Thumb, one, two, thumb, one, two, three, four. Four, three, two, one, thumb, two, one, thumb. So back and forth, the same fingering we are using. Thumb one two, thumb one two three four, and backward the same thing re uh, reverse in reverse order. All right. 
so um one very important thing songs are always based on some scale some scale the song is based on and uh, the scale can be many different types and even indian songs have a, have a backdrop of ragas and raginis so that makes it even more interesting so if you see that the sound that you're getting from here c d e f g a b c sounds like sari gama pa da ni sa and let's see the intervals music is is made with different intervals that is how music is constructed that's how music is created utilizing different intervals the smallest interval in music is one semitone so let's say from here to next key will be one semitone and from here this will be another semitone from here to here one 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 everything is one semitone apart each key is one semitone you have to count all of it it's one semitone apart okay so now when i am starting from this note c let's call it a root note this is a root note so root and d is 2 so i'll just count it to root 2 again to 2 and then i'll put my thumb here and that is one only there's no black key here right so root 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 back the same way so two formulas you have to remember one is thumb 1 2 thumb 1 2 3 4 the fingering formula the other one is root the scale formula root 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 so this whenever you hit this formula starting from any note it will become a major scale of that first note that is root note anywhere So let's say we started from C, C D E F G A B C, root two two one two 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 one. And let's say you have to go two octaves. The same thing you have to play. The thumb one two thumb one two three. And after that, if you put pinky finger here, then you are trapped. So what you want to do? Thumb one two thumb one two three thumb one two thumb one two three. And then you can put four and come back. ascending descending in that order all right so now let's start uh, our next scale next uh, scale let's start with the with the g note let's say we start that with the g note the c d e f g and what we have to do we have to play a major scale that means we have to this is the root note now we have to apply the formula root 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 the root 2 2 1 2 should i play this key or this key because this will be one so i have to go here 2 1 i'll start again root 2 2 1 2 2 2 1 2 that's the correct formula and correct sound also see it sounds like sare gama pa da ni sa correct so it So what we had to do E, and when we reached F, if we put F, it'll be because formula will be wrong. Root two two one two two, it will become one two, and then see the sound is also wrong, right? So it doesn't sound correct. See last note doesn't sound; it's jarring. So thumb one two thumb one two three four, and root two two one two 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 one. So this last we had to make two. So we went up from F. We did not play F. We played. note next to f higher note one semitone higher note and this is called f sharp this is f sharp so these are natural notes and these are sharps and flats the black ones are sharps and flats and white keys are natural keys natural notes sharps and flats the when you go up one key it becomes sharp and when you go down one key it becomes flat western music allows you to play any note any note in sharp uh, denomination or flat denomination so let's say i'm i was doing f 
and then we went to F sharp for G major, right? F sharp, G. So now F sharp can also be named after this snare note, which is G, G flat. But in this context, we can't call it G flat. Otherwise, what will happen? G, A, B, C, D, E, G flat, G. What happened to F? F is missing. So each alphabet, each spelling has to be there. Each note spelling has to be there. G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. So F is represented in F sharp. So that is the basic principle. Uh, <clears throat> so, so same notes, this, this, this key can be called F sharp and also can be called G flat. But for now, let's call it sharp only. Let's call, call the names by sharp for, now, for the time being. So first scale that you need to, need to start working on is C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and back one. And if you have to play two octaves, you go thumb one, two, thumb one, two, three, thumb one, two, thumb one, two, three, and wherever you want to end, you just put a pinky finger and come back. So this is how you practice C major scale. Then once you're a little more comfortable with this, you start playing with the G note, G major. So that will be G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. And then after that, if you have to play two octaves, jump back with a thumb. So just play G major in two octaves, that's all. Same fingering, I'll go very slow. Thumb one, two, thumb one, two, three. And instead of four, you just put a thumb there, so once again. Let's try to do D after that. Get the D is right here. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, and then Z. So we'll start from here. D. D, two, two, one, two, 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 one. Oh, now that two sharp note. D, two, two, F sharp, one, two, 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 one. So D, two, two, one, two, 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 one. So now we are using D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C sharp, D. So now we have C also sharp, right? So we practice this also ascending, descending until you get very comfortable. The next thing that you have to do is after D, after you're comfortable with D, then go to A major. Can start here. A two two one two 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 one. Da da di da di da di da 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 di. Okay. Two 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 one. Da. A B C sharp D E F sharp G sharp A. Now G also became sharp now. G sharp A. Got it. So now A. Then let's do one, two, three, four, five. Fifth note, that is this one, E. So let's start with E now. So that you have to practice the A major and then practice the E major. Okay, so let's try that. All right, so we'll go C major, G major, D major, A major, and then E major. So E, C, D, E, right here, E. So E, two, two, one, two, 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 one. That will give us a major scale of E. E, two, two, one. Two, 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 one. So what happened here now? E, F sharp, G sharp, A, B, C sharp, D sharp. D is also sharp now. D sharp, E. So now we have A and then after that E. So five scales at least to start with, I want you to practice, is C major, G major, D major, A major, and E major. They all sound like Sari Gama Padanisa. Just remember that. If you have that that uh, notation in your head, Sari Gama Padanisa, then, then it's very, very easy for you to identify. If you did any mistake, 
you'll immediately find out. Let's say I do a mistake and it'll be jarring. See, right there, it's a mistake. Ah, wrong, something's wrong. Something wrong here, right? So you, you'll, you'll immediately figure out if you play, pay a little attention to it. So E, two, two, just remember the formula, root two, two, one, two, 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 one. That is all it is, that is all it is, okay? Root two, two, one, two, 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 one. And that root will be the name of the scale and it'll be a major scale. If you're applying this formula, root two, two, one, two, 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 one, you are playing a major scale. That, that, that set of intervals makes a major scale. And whatever the root node is, that is the name of the scale. Root two, two, one, two, 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 one. That's about it. So I'll leave it at this point right here and we'll take it further in the next tutorial. Thank you, good night, have a wonderful time. I will not be able to show you my face this time because way down there. Bye.